Okay, so I know that this paper pad has been around forever, um, but I have had it in, I only found it a couple of months ago on Hobby Lobby, shophobbylobby.com, and I've had it in my basket, I'm sorry, my wish list for a couple of months now. What I do just to take the best advantage of price cuts and sales and stuff like that is I'll put stuff in my basket, wait for it to go on sale, but then I'm waiting until other things are put in there so that it makes up for the shipping. Um, because Hobby Lobby doesn't offer free shipping on orders of a certain dollar amount. So, like, Joanne occasionally will, you know, have their one-cent shopping, or one, the blah, 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 as usual, Kim's tripping over her tongue. Um, one-cent shipping, or, you know, you spend, free is free shipping on if you spend 25 or more, stuff like that. Um, very rarely does Hobby Lobby do, uh, offer that kind of a thing. So, what I'll do is I'll save up all the things throughout um, a couple of months that I want to get. And I'll wait for things to go on sale. So if ribbons and paper go on sale at the same time, that's a good time to order because then the 7 or $8 shipping cost really doesn't affect the savings that you're getting from those sales. So that's what happened with this. I just got an order in. It just arrived uh, yesterday afternoon. And I really love this paper pad. <laughs> I've already gone through it, opened it up and gone through it. But anyway, so I know it's been out for a while and I just wanted to share for anybody who is not aware of it and also to get a really close up view of this paper, um, you know, that you can't really tell by looking at it online. So anyway, this is called Poetic Postage, and it has a glossy uh, raised finish on it. You can kind of see it right there on the cover even. Just gorgeous. This paper is so pretty. I am so glad I got it. Here you can kind of see the swirly cue, swirly things right there. I love it. And there's three sheets of each. It is a really nice, uh, substantial card stock. So it's not like their other papers. It's like really thin, like the Kirby Teasdale paper line um, that's super thin. Yes, I have a boo-boo on my finger. Um, <clears throat> anyway, look at this. So, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Absolutely love this. You could even do some kind of spraying on this, and that would do a resist. So pretty over here in the corner. All right, then here's the next page. I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Of course, it took me three minutes to explain what I do <laughs> when I'm ordering this postage stamp. Ugh, so pretty. Love this. This page has got to be one of my favorites in the whole stack. Again, you can see that flourish. And this right here, the flourish down the side with that glossy rays. Oh, this damask, gorgeous. All in the corners is where the glossy part is. Even the stripe, so vintage looking. Look at that. It's got like a, um, what do they call that? Oh gosh, crest or whatever. <gasps> I hope you can see this glossy raised part. It's showing pretty up pretty good through the viewfinder on my phone. Because I'm doing this on my phone, not my camcorder. Look at this butterfly paper. Oh my gosh. With the print in the back. And then there's like a damask print on this paper that's raised. Letterpress looking. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Ugh. Now I gotta get busy cracking with uh, some projects. I don't know why I continue to buy, look at this. Oh, I don't know why I continue to buy paper, tons of paper. There's a couple of things that I buy all the time. Paper and stamps. <laughs> I don't use them that much, but I am just nuts about buying it and hoarding it. 
Some more of that stamp paper. Ugh, another one of my favorite. So pretty. I really do need to make an album with this paper. Because it's that pretty. And this is the last of it. So beautiful. All right, you guys, I just felt like doing a share in case somebody was interested in this paper and wanted to see a close-up of it. Bye.